take a young child and stimulate their immune system specifically to the spike protein when natural immunity does not emphasize the spike protein would potentially throw off their immunity for the rest of their life. This paper, again, that I showed you earlier that shows that this T-cell response is actually composed of T-cell responses which are overlapping with other SARS, or sorry, other human coronaviruses means that in children where this T-cell immunity is being built, we cannot take the risk of immunizing them against a protein that's irrelevant. Remember, the most immunogenic regions were derived from open reading frame one. They were not derived from the spike protein. Therefore, to take a young child and stimulate their immune system specifically to the spike protein when natural immunity does not emphasize the spike protein would potentially throw off their immunity for the rest of their lives. It's one hour and 58 minutes. I'm leaving it at this. This is really the most important thing to understand, that, that the immune response is based on other protein targets, and those other protein targets have much more overlap with other coronaviruses for which you already have pre-existing immune memory too, and therefore we are all risking and likely already have done, those of us who have been transfected, have messed with, possibly distorted, or even bleached out our memories to these previous coronaviruses and overemphasized a spike protein that's largely irrelevant. Ladies and gentlemen, this is dangerous because natural immunity is really the memory of a genetic swarm. And if you understand this, you understand how complicated a viral infection is. It is composed of two groups of virins, those virins which can replicate and those virins that cannot. And depending on how high fidelity the virus replicates inside of your body, that could be a small cloud of variation or a large cloud of variation. There could be lots of replication competent virins or very few. And so what we have to think about is if virus infection is like this genetically, how has the immune system done to cope with this? What mechanisms has the immune system evolved to deal with the phenomenon of a viral swarm? And then how in the world would immunization to a single spike protein help? It would not.